What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, um, as we creep closer and closer to the NBA season, I think we're about a month away from the opening of training camp, somewhere around that range. And um, But this situation with Kevin Durant not getting any better, as a matter of fact, it seems like it's, it's, it's a growing... Uh, divide between Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets organization. Um, it's looking more and more like that he will skip training camp, which will definitely make this more of a reality. Like right now, <clears throat> since it's been the off season since Kevin Durant has requested a trade, um, you know, it's just a bunch of talk. You know, it's a bunch of talk. Uh, it, it isn't affecting next year yet. It's not affecting the organization as far as next season quite yet physically. <clears throat> Kevin Durant not being there. But now, when you see these reports coming out that a hey, KD is going to pretty much take the scorched earth uh, option. You know, he's basically going to try to do everything he can to cause as much dysfunction and disharmony within the organization that they force the trade, that they have to take, uh, you know, options from other teams for lesser value than he probably is worth just because they got to get rid of him. He, he wants to force their hand. That's what some of these reports I'm seeing uh, are indicating. And the burger baron, Brian Windhorst, is finally seeing the light on that issue. All right, he said... Uh, recently, let's see, he said a week ago, if you had asked me, will Kevin Durant hold out of training camp if he's not traded, I would have been like, I can't see it. Now I can see it. That is what we're heading towards. Well, duh. He's not playing. He's not playing. I mean, at some point, like I said this recently, at some point you can't turn back around and take back all of what's been done, all of what's been said. There's too much, to me, too much toxic, toxicity there now. Like, you know, the things that have been said, the things that have been done, both players have made it very clear. This isn't just a, a dispute about money or or some shit like that with Olajuwon. And that got really bad back in the early 90s. That got really bad between Akeem Olajuwon and the owner and, and, and w as far as his money and uh, as far as a team being around him that was at least uh, giving him a chance to win a championship. But this is even worse, because I don't recall Olajuwon uh, calling out, you know, publicly at least, people within the, the management and organization and, 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 you know, using certain terminologies the way that Kevin Durant has. So at the end of the day, I just don't see it anymore. I don't see how he's going to... I think his, he, he played his last game with the Brooklyn Nets against the Boston Celtics. And everything that he's doing... As quiet as he is, he's not talking to the media really. I don't think, and I don't think he's going to talk to the media until he's traded. But um, anyway, that's all I got to say about this. Tell me what you guys think.